Hi, I'm Dovlet, and in this video, I will be explaining the basics of aircraft components. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get started. For this video, I will be using this model of a Cessna to explain these components. Let's start at the head of the plane, which consists of two parts, the engine and the propeller. In the case of a Cessna, the piston-powered engines power the propeller, which is the source of thrust that allow the plane to start moving. Next up, let's look at fuselage and landing gears. The fuselage is a technical term used to describe parts of an aircraft that is designed to carry passengers and cargo, which means that it does not include the tail, wings, and engines. The landing gear is the component that is crucial to a safe takeoff and landing. And in a lot of aircrafts, not including the Cessna, these landing gears are retractable. Let's move on to the wings, which have a surprising amount of important components. Starting from the center of the wing, you have the radio antennas that are mainly used for communication with air traffic control and navigation purposes. There is also the fuel tank that stores all the fuel that powers the piston-powered engines. Moving over, we can see the flaps and ailerons along the trailing edge of the wing. I remember when I was learning this in ground school, I would always confuse the two since they are in similar positions and look nearly identical. However, they actually have vastly different purposes. Flaps are used to lower the stall speed, which allows the pilot to fly at a slower speed during landings without fear of the aircraft stalling. The ailerons, on the other hand, are used to perform the roll motion. If you don't know what that is, I will be making another video on aircraft motion, which I will explain the three types of aircraft motions. Finally, let's talk about the components at the tail of the plane. There are two pairs of components at the tail. The first pair is the horizontal stabilizer, which is home to the elevator. The elevator is another key component because it is responsible for the pitch motion, another one of the three aircraft motions. Speaking of aircraft motions, the third and final motion, yaw, is controlled by the rudder, which is attached to the vertical stabilizer. And with that, I have explained all the main components of an aircraft. Please let me know if you would like me to cover another topic, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.